Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you connect your iPad running the Kronos Remote app to your Kronos. Besides the Kronos itself and your iPad, you also need the Apple Camera Connection Kit. Um, it's also sometimes referred to as the USB adapter. Here is the version for the lightning connectors. It has the lightning connector on one side and a USB port on the other side. If you happen to have one of the older iPads, it looks like this. This is the adapter with the former iPad connector and again it goes to the USB port. And to connect this to the Kronos you need this kind of USB cable. It's like a standard printer cable. And the important thing is you need to connect to this port, the USB B port. This is important. If you try to use uh, the standard lightning cable which would connect to this port, it's not going to work. It's going to charge your iPad maybe, but it's not going to do anything uh, regarding the MIDI connection. So you definitely need one of those adapters. Um, I think on the current iPads, which have the USB-C adapter, um, you just need a USB-C to USB-B cable and you don't need any adapter here. But I don't happen to have one of those iPads. So all I can show you is um, this one here with the lightning connector. And, as I said, for the older iPads, the connector looked a bit different. So, and if you do the connection, you need to connect the adapter to your USB cable. Plug in the um, USB cable to the USB-B port of the Kronos. And, of course, plug in the lightning connector to your iPad. And what you can see is that there will be a, a pop-up coming um, to show you that it's connected and syncing. And that's basically it. If you connect the iPad for the first time, it's going to take a while until it's been until it loaded all the preset names and the settings from your Kronos to the iPad. But once it's done, you have access to um, your original preset names, um, like it is on the Kronos. One thing to mention: um, many people ask me about this. If you go to set lists, the set lists are not automatically synced. This is because um, you might have done some offline editing on your set lists and you don't want them to be overwritten any time you connect the Kronos. So um, you need to do this manually and in order to do this there's a download button up here just uh, next to the set list name with the arrow pointing down and if you press this one you have the option to either load all the set lists, set lists that you have on your Kronos and store them offline or just load the currently selected set list. And if you do this it's gonna load the set list and here we go. This is uh, reflecting the current state on the Kronos and you have um, everything available on the iPad. And you have the USB connection, again the USB-B port, standard printer-like cable going to the camera connection kit or USB adapter and this one goes to your iPad.